Here we are in Edmonton and we're standing along the North Saskatchewan River and in the area we're at there's a profile that's exposing something really interesting here. We're looking at something really extraordinary in this profile and this is this light layer that's going right throughout the profile here. It's a very light color. When you look at it and feel it, it's like chalk almost. It's smooth and fine textured. And what this layer is from, it's from a volcanic eruption that occurred over 7,600 years ago. And this is the Mazama eruption. And the really cool thing about this is we're in Alberta. Are there volcanoes in Alberta? No. <laughs> we are surrounded by beautiful mountains and prairies, parkland, and really dense boreal forests with lots of prickly rose in the understory. So seeing this can kind of make you think about what did it do to the landscape? This big thick layer, it's visible in this profile, would have really impacted the landscape. So this ash layer in profile can tell us a lot of different things, but the ash alone is not always necessarily what we're looking at. Things that are associated with the ash can give us an idea of what was occurring. So although not visible here, often right by the ash layers were layers of charcoal. And what this told us about the past is that after this eruption event and the falling of the ash, it was often associated with fires because there was an increased intensity in lightning and storms. So one really important aspect of these really distinct volcanic ash layers is that they are really important as time markers. And this is because when that eruption occurs from a massive eruption like this on Mount Mazama, it sends out ash in the atmosphere and then that gets deposited, it could be within a few hours to days. So it's really capturing a really small time interval during the past. So archeologists would use this during um, when they're digging and finding artifacts associated with the layer. So this is a really important aspect of tephra layers too. Thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out Ram's website for other exciting stories and interactive content.